If that I was Henry, I would hate Korea. I, I like spring. You like summer. <laughs> you know? I like fall. I'm serious. Fucking shut up. Welcome, Welcome to YouTube's favorite K-pop show, DK News, Danny Kim, David. lots and lots of RST. First off, we have seven labels under Hive holding their first joint audition in the United States. And second, we have Big Bang's spring, summer, fall, and winter coming finally on April 5th. And last but not least, we have Henry stirring up K-Nets after being appointed as an anti-bullying ambassador. He's okay. getting bullied. Another day in K-pop. Yeah. Being, uh, appointed as an anti-bully ambassador. And on to these first news. Okay, so starting off with seven labels under Hive holding their first joint audition. Are you ready to be a K-pop star? No. Okay, well, maybe like 10 years ago. Because on March 21st, Hive announced that they will be holding their first joint audition with all seven labels under the Hive umbrella wow. in Las Vegas. Wow, everything's baby. in Las Vegas yeah, these days. Yeah, that's right. This will be a global audition for Bigot Music, B-Lift, Source Music, Pledis, KOZ, wow. uh, Hive Labels Japan, and Hive America. So wow. everybody's looking for somebody in Vegas. Uh, the auditions will take place on April 8th, 9th and 15th and 16th. This actually also happens to be the exact BTS dates concert. of the BTS concerts in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And also the Grammys are gonna be held on April 4th. Mm -hmm. They're making the most out of their business. Right, for. might as well. Hive will be looking for applicants between the age of 11 to 19. So you can't apply, unfortunately. They're looking for vocals, rappers, and dance. The contestants can apply until April 4th. So guys, if you're in that age bracket yeah. i know we don't have a lot of viewers in that age bracket but maybe. if you are yeah. uh then maybe you can apply yeah you know uh, it'll be a good experience uh, in the meanwhile bts producer p, p dog uh, topped the revenue rankings for korean producers last year not really interesting kind of obvious uh, earning about <laughs> 4 billion korean won or about 33 million dollars uh, i don't even of... know how much that is i can't even count. uh yeah i i would like <laughs> 1 million it just it became all depressing after <laughs> yeah i became depressed yeah. but speaking of high be sure to check out the Varzar bucket hat available on our website. Maybe we can get 33 million uh, one yeah. day. NakedSoul.kr, that's our brand, and we've created it curating all the local Korean products mm -hmm. from local brands. This hat has been worn by many K-pop artists, including BTS's Jungkook and N-Hyphen's Nikki uh, and Jungwon. Yeah. We have fast, cheap, and reliable shipping worldwide. The first five people to use this coupon code below will get 10% off their purchase. Check out Naked Soul. This is an audition being held in Las Vegas and, you know, America. Of course, there's always been uh, <coughs> controversies and buzz about like whether K-pop labels and K-pop in the future are going to uh, include mm -hmm. multiple ethnicities. Hive, they've been expanding uh, aggressively towards the US market and stuff, but they haven't put out an actual like multi ethnical group other than like East, Asian. Northeast Asian yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ethnicities. So, like, I'm wondering, like, I think that's the biggest um, curiosity here because, like, those are four big dates there mm -hmm. and there's going to be a lot of contestants. How many quota will there be for mm. non-Asian non -Asian people? Asian people? Yeah, because most of them are going to be non-Asian. If they are going to just pick Korean American people or like, I don't know, Asian ethnicity uh, people at yeah. the end, they should specify that, honestly. Like, don't make people waste their time. You well, know, they can't say that. Hope there's like a multi multi-ethnical group coming out like truly like, you know, I don't like know, white, black, Hispanic, you know, like everyone in yeah. Gachi yeah. already, they're pioneers. It's Gachi. I'm gonna say that's just gonna be the natural progression of K-pop. Because it's so global and because it's enjoyed by so many different people, mm. being more inclusive and mm -hmm. diverse will benefit them. If you think about it, Hybes has Hybes kind of moved moved out of that K-pop realm because yeah, like yeah, if yeah. you look at the songs BTS are doing already, it's like very popish. So it would be perfect to, you know, make an actual English speaking group mm -hmm. to sing those songs as well. And the yeah. producers on the track list for a lot of K-pop songs are all like West. I don't know why there's no reason. Uh, there's no white people? No, 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 no. In Hybe? No, no. There's no reason for Hybe not to make uh, like a One Direction or like, you know, just a pop artist. They know? already announced like the whole audition program with Geffen Records yeah. is it uh so I think they that's their mm -hmm. that's their uh, yeah program. I hope we can see like an Ariana Grande or you know or some white girls no 
Maybe or some like your Billie Eilish come out from Hyde. So if you're in that area, uh, please apply. Mm -hmm. Tell them DKTK TV sent you. I don't know if that'll be a plus. Uh, and on to the next, next news. news. Last week we teased that Big Bang is coming back with mm -hmm. their uh, photo card, you right. know, like a Polaroid picture. Yeah. But now we finally have the part of the, the photo, picture. like the picture. I told you that that's what they were gonna do. Uh, Big Bang Spring, Summer, and Fall, Winter is coming on April 5th. It's now official. Of course, the biggest question is what kind of emotions, messages that are going to be contained in the Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter. YG said Big Bang Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter is a song that implicitly expresses the members past times. Oh boy. In oh. fact, the English song name of Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter was written as still light which gives more hints to the meaning of the song it depicts the frozen time of a living being or a momentary stillness or quietness that can be felt in the title poster released on this day you can see four daisies a flower meaning of hope uh, daisy means hope. The daisies are in full bloom in four colors, white, pink, yellow, and red. Uh, I, I think G-Dragon definitely represents white. I think T.O.P. would be pink, right? Mm -hmm. Fans express their anticipation by offering various speculations and interpretations about the four seasons and the four colored flowers. The obvious was linking it to the Flower Road, um, saying that Big Bang kept their promise about what they said in Flower Road after yeah. all, and that VIPs are ready to spread a Flower Road red carpet for them, mm -hmm. and also some fans speculated that this year, April 5th is the day corresponding to Cheongmyeong. It's the 5th of the 24 solar terms. Uh, old people like that kind of shit. I don't shit, okay? even know what that even old means. Old people like that kind of shit. My grandma I, knows I that. I think people okay? are a little digging too yeah. deep into this. Are you Days sure like G-Dragon's like, oh, this is Cheongmyeong? What, 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 what the fuck no, is no, I, There's a saying in Cheongmyeong, the sky will gradually become clearer and sprouts will come out even if you insert a stick into the ground. So it's that kind of day. It's like, mm, it's so it's clear. It's day. like a flowering day. Like everything mm. will bloom and stuff like that. So okay. Okay. yeah, so Cheongmyeong is sure. supposed to be the clearest day of the whole year. Um, mm. I never even knew these Very things existed. You know, like, you know, like Bongji, you know, that kind of stuff. There's like 24 terms. Oh, like, really? Eight. Old people have a lot to the celebrate. Hottest day. And in the meantime, there was a little bit of a sad change regarding T.O.P. Mm. And if you search T.O.P. on Naver, you can see that the profile picture and agency has changed. Actually, the agency has just disappeared and the profile picture was replaced with a very neat picture wearing a jacket and a shirt. Uh, this disappeared yesterday so right before the release so i, I guess he wanted to make it clear so so my uh thoughts that it'll be a party song i think are kind of totally out the window i uh i didn't know you were serious about that no i was serious like, i thought that they would actually like have a prolonged promotion time and also they would have multiple no. songs out but it looks like this will be the last song big bang song for, for a, a very long time, yeah. probably. Yeah, after uh, those four years, it wasn't much of a flower road. It was a thorn road, and uh, I just nobody I, could, pr nobody would predict it to be a party song. Other I than mean, you. I like spring. You <laughs> like summer. <laughs> <laughs> I like fall. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. It, it has that innate feeling of you know, like we've been through a lot. It's been yeah, like bittersweet. It's, it's been the winter, and now it's like the spring, and and I feel like that's going to be the theme of the song. Right. There are lows and highs, but still. Mm -hmm. We're here and we're thankful to everyone, mm -hmm. VIPs and your love. About our dating show name, uh, we've decided it to be Ramyun and Chill. Yeah. Uh, despite the massive votes for um, soulmates, soulmates uh, there were legal issues about soulmates and love in translation because they were both taken by major broadcasting networks. Ramyun and Chill, it has that spring, summer, fall, mm -hmm. winter yeah. meaning inside it. Uh, really? When is the Kickstarter starting? Oh, there's a lot of legal stuff. Well, now we apparently have a, a company in Delaware. Mm -hmm. to, yeah, to start or up incorporated a, it's in totally Delaware. It's totally legal. You I, needed that to get a Kickstarter open. So. Yesterday found out that Delaware is on the East Coast. Mm, yeah. Just judging from the name, I thought it would be like in Tennessee or some shit. What? No offense to Tennessee. Yeah, people. you live right across Delaware, yeah, like New yeah. Jersey. The Kickstarter is going to go live probably within this week. Uh, once the Delaware company gets officialized. Okay. <laughs> and uh, please, please support us on our dating show coming on. Awesome. And, yeah, on to the next, next news. news. Speaking of Delaware and China, Henry stirs up K-Nets after being appointed as an anti-bullying ambassador. I don't know what to get out of that. Uh, this all started on March 17th as the Seoul Mapo Police Department appointed 
the Chinese Canadian idol Henry as an ambassador against school violence. Instantly, the department's website was bombarded with about 300 angry comments against the police and Henry. Mm -hmm. The commenters criticized the police for choosing a Chinese idol. What? And Henry being, you know, Chinese Canadian. Actually, his parents are like Taiwanese and Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, people were angry that they picked somebody from China uh, for the role. I mean, he's not from China, okay. he's from Toronto. But the comments were like, Did someone get paid by China to give Henry this position? This is not it. The tension between China and Korea has been escalating for quite a while yeah. the, uh, the past few years. And this has been spreading to Chinese K-pop idols as well. Henry, who had uh, actually a relatively positive image, mm. I guess could not yeah. escape this. People actually previously criticized him, uh, especially last year, mm. uh, for being a regular on a TV show, which in one of the episodes, they introduced the Korean traditional dance and music, as well as hanbok, as culture from uh, the Korean Chinese ethnic minorities living in China. Furthermore, there were posts uh, supporting the uh, One China policy Ooh. posted on his Weibo, um, though many believe that it was posted by an Englishman. Mm. He also wore a mask with the Chinese flag and, <laughs> and the statement, I love China, and also played a song titled, I love China, in celebration for the Chinese National Day. I mean, what's he gonna do? It's <clears throat> his country. It's, he's not gonna say like, I hate yeah. China. Uh, Kane has criticized him for building his fame in Korea and then supporting China. Okay, now that you got the context yeah. though, I'm just, I'm just laying out the facts okay, here. Okay. What really stirred the pot was Henry's apology that came after the whole controversy, yeah. which was filled with spelling mistakes and gra grammatical uh, errors. I saw that, yeah. He even spelled 죄송합니다, which is literally, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> wrong. Netizens accused him of being either sarcastic or insincere in his apology. There were a lot of typos yeah, in spelling errors. Yeah, there were like yeah. a lot, a lot. Netizens also uh, brought up old posts of Henry that uh, used to speak fluent Korean mm. <laughs> and uh, showed that he had a very high understanding of the language, mm. raising further al mm. allegations of his insincer mm. insincerity. Okay. Henry's apology read, There are a lot of false facts on YouTube and the media. I'm sorry if I did anything wrong, and I apologize for the actions I did wrong and the words I have said wrong. I just wanted to give joy, emotions, and smiles to people through music performances and TV shows. What hurts me the most is that people are not uncomfortable with something I said or did, but they're uncomfortable because of my blood. Meaning that they're uncomfortable because he's a Chinese person or he's Chinese yeah, Canadian. Yeah, yeah. Here are some comments to this whole news. Head of the police department should be fired and Henry should be banned from TV. Just because of that? Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of Korean celebrities and sports stars that have a positive image. Why do they pick a non-Korean as an ambassador? Meanwhile, there have been also comments that are supporting Henry from the K-Nets as well. Henry is a global K-pop star. His support for China and Korea are not about ideology. It's about respecting the people of each country. Mm -hmm. It's not a right to tell a foreigner that he has to pick one side. Right? The opinions are divided, but I would say the negative opinions are probably uh, the majority here. First of all, Henry has been very well assimilated to Korean culture and he speaks perfect Korean and he's been on major TV shows for a long time and he's only given joy and lo love and laughter to the Korean yeah, yeah. audience from what I recall. Like, yeah. I get the anti-Chinese sentiment in Korea and I get the hate against the CCP and you know their leaders but at the same time the individuals and the public they have no fault in that. I can give a fair you know uh, point for that comment though. There are a lot of very Korean celebrities with a positive image and blah 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 and so a Korean uh, celebrity could have been chosen for an ambassador rather than Henry. I would rebut that though. There's not a lot so, of so, people that have the level of positive I know, I know, no, as but Henry. I'm not saying Henry is not qualified for the job. Mm. I'm just saying like it is kind of random if you think about it. Why Henry just became the oh. Mapo district's, you know, uh, school bully? I don't know. Like oh. that, that, that's what I'm curious about. What's the criteria and standard of choosing like these mm. celebrities as like an anti-school mm. bully? It is, it is kind of like random. What, what does he have to do with anti-bully? I don't uh, know. But yeah, he's, um, a, he's like a 32-year-old man. Like this guy's like, uh, yeah, been out of school so for that, a while. That's my point. It's just very <laughs> random. Like regardless of his yeah, ethnicity like if or I whatever. were to choose. Choose somebody, uh -huh. I would maybe choose a younger idol. I would choose I someone was... like Ma Dong Sok, you know, like <laughs> or, anti bully. Or, or, or I would choose somebody who's like in school yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they can be like somebody like yeah. that that's like, you know, yeah, more yeah, relatable. Yeah. Let me be clear here. I don't have anything against Henry. I think he deserves the job if they de designated him to do it. And 
yeah, he's he's totally a friendly and lovable figure in Korea. Also, he did a lot of philanthropy work. Mm. He's ambassador for Save the Children. He's donated to Save the Children. Done like auctions of his violins uh, for charity. Mm. He's a very active figure right. in, in, in helping uh, the society mm -hmm. in Korea. Mm -hmm. And it's so disappointing for 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 me like to see like these people yeah. hate on this guy yeah he's getting just attacked mm. literally based on like his ethnicity like just think about what he's done for our community like as yeah, in yeah, korea yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. like just think of this guy like as an individual I here know, living people here. are just so, you know? too fixated on the negative stuff I, i'm sure now he hates korea yeah, he definitely. I, if that I, was Henry, no, I, I would hate Korea. About the apology part, though, that that was kind of fishy because when I saw it too, like there were too many spelling errors, and I was like, is he like being sarcastic or something? I I, I, I certainly had that thought. It occurred. It occurred yeah. like for a split second. Honestly, if I was in that position, I'd be sarcastic too. I mean, like it's it does doesn't make any fucking sense. Mm. Like this guy is a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Why the fuck are you guys hating him because he's Chinese? <clears throat> he just we can got... hate the Chinese government. Okay, yeah, sure. But let's not hate the people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? He just um, became a, an ambassador. And right. Suddenly, anti-bullying. Suddenly, and lightning strikes. And then... This is literally bullying. <laughs> uh, the anti-bullying ambassador. Yeah, is... And now I'm sure we're going to get a lot of comments from Korean people. Uh... Uh, that are gonna say, oh, you support China. No, By the way, I, no, no, I don't no, no, like no, no, China. No, no. I, Let's not talk about China. Uh, but we'll talk. I always we'll... enjoy talking about China. <laughs> <laughs> if there are any Knets watching, 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 Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Welcome to all the Knets. If this is watch, you're watching this for the first time. 저희 자막 안 단다고 되게 말을 많이 하시는데, 어 저희가 네. 자막 인력이 아, 부족해서 네. patreon.com/dcdtv라고 <웃음> 어 저희를 이렇게 지원해 줄수 있는 플랫폼이 있어요. 아. 그래서 거기에서 이제 저희를 구독해 주시면은 어 exclusive content도 있고, 음. 어 그리고 저희가 뭐 언젠가는 그렇게 모든 영상을 자막을 달수 있지 않을까 아, 네. 그런 날이 오기를 바랍니다. 아, 네. 어 그러면 다음에 뵙겠습니다. 네. 아 그리고 저희 이제 글로벌 데이팅 쇼도 하니까요. 어, 이거 한국 분들. 한국 남성분들 중에 되게 이제 매력적이고 본인이 이제 외국 여성과 한번 데이트하고 싶다고 생각하시는 분들은 지원해 주시고요. 네, 아, 기대해 주세요.